going on, y'all? <laughs> I had riding this morning, and it's already feeling like one sun's fucking another sun. Just fucking fucking the shit out that sun. Hot, sweaty ass fucking sex, and here comes a third one into the fucking picture, and goes just to raw dog and fucking both and it's like I'm that fucking bed <laughs> it's fucking bad but shit man I really got out here didn't even just for you know to ride around but might as well get on a little topic was out here working on a Saturday man I'm li I live here in Dallas man and um as everybody knows if you do watch this video um we just had that incident downtown where the five police officers were killed by what they called a sniper who was actually a 25 year old black dude out of um mesquite which is like it's just a suburb of dallas it's right on the east side and um what was crazy is my mom actually lives in Mesquite and I actually grew up a lot of my life in Mesquite and you know the world's so small that my brother actually played basketball with that guy when when um he was still in high school which is fucking crazy and my brother's like he called me he's like man hey he's like I've seen this guy He's like, I played basketball with him. He's from Mesquite. And, you know, of course, all the media reports came out. And he ended up being from Mesquite for real. And it was like a fucking trip. You know, it was just like, man, you never know who you're around. Who you're going to be with and shit like that, you know. But, I mean, that's just life. I mean, you're always around some fucked up motherfuckers. You just don't even know it. I mean, they're in your own fucking family sometimes. <laughs> And, you know, not to talk shit about nobody or anything like that, but, you know, I, uh, you know, I've been to prison. I did about seven years, and, um, you know, I was around, <laughs> you know, mainly what everybody would consider bad motherfuckers, you know, just criminals. But after doing so much time, like, you realize that, you know, everybody that claims to be a killer and all that bullshit, you know, um... The best way to put it is that I say like 99% of the murders that actually happen in this world are probably just all spur of the moment type shit, you know. Uh, bad drug deals, um, heat of the moment, for, uh, you fuck my wife type shit, you know, different shit like that, you know, just spur of the moment killings where nobody, they didn't want to do it, they just, you know, ended up, it was me or you or... You know, fuck you, you did something bad to me, I killed you. But I feel like, I feel that that 99%, that's how much, you know, when it comes to killer mentality. But there is that 1% of motherfuckers out there that are really just fucking psycho killers that pretty much just get off on killing people, you know, premeditate murder for either just a self enjoyment or you know just to handle business or whatever I don't know how you want to say it so I mean most of my friends that I actually you know I still go back to prisons and visit uh, old friends that were locked up with me and uh, you know the ones I visit they have 40 50 60 years fucking life sentences two life sentences and that's what they have you know they're murders Everybody that I go see is a murder charge because most of them, you know, it's going to be a long, long time before they get out or, you know, my main partner, he, you know, he's never coming home. So, you know, unless a miracle happens and, you know, that's just how it is. But, I mean, the whole point of this shit was that, you know, you never know who you're around, bro, till you get locked up with some motherfucker and you just see, you know... The mentality and shit that motherfuckers do and the way they carry themselves. I mean, it's just hard to read people these days. Some people are easy to read, of course. You know what I'm saying? You could fucking... Yeah, fucking mirror? What the fuck happened there? There's some gay-ass mirrors, but you see with the most. 
Yeah, but you know, some people are easy to read, but other people, you know, they hide that shit, man. A lot of motherfuckers bottle that shit up, and it ain't even gotta be, you know, a real psycho motherfucker that takes you out, you know. Could just be one of those people that fucking that just hit that point, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the world is full of some fucking crazy motherfuckers, bro. I mean, they're all out there, and we're just kind of lucky that... I say we're lucky because there's a lot of OG motherfuckers that have been around for a long fucking time, bro. And all these people that are getting killed and shit, you know... Uh, I'm not gonna say a lot of them are gang members, but the people that do get jammed up, some of them, you know, man, some of them got OGs that are damn near on their deathbeds, you know what I'm saying? And... If they gonna hold them down, maybe they just like say fuck it and you know, wanna go out with a bang and wanna hold their people down. You know, you're lucky you ain't got a bunch of older fucking older cats just busting on laws and other people just to represent their cause, you know what I'm saying? I mean yeah, I mean the older cats they could just stud up and you know, say fuck it and go out for their cause just to make a name for themselves and represent for their people. You know, there's really, you know, the cats that are really G's and older my old heads, I mean, they're getting up there, you know what I'm saying, from the 80s and, you know, once they get to that point of that deathbed and they still want to hold that cause down and rip their shit, you know, straight up, motherfucker will, I'm trying to decide which way I want to go, you know, a motherfucker just might fucking act a fool. I, mean, I just thank God, man, that, you know, that, um, you know, there was more damage than what it was. I mean, I'm no CSI agent, but even when them people came, they, um, even when they're, America, nigga! America! America! It is. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I'm no CSI agent. They were trying to say there was two, three, four shooters and all that shit a person. I mean, you know if a motherfucker goes to busting in downtown where all the building is, everybody knows that fucking shoots guns and knows. Everybody knows that when you shoot there's an echo off the building so immediately every time he made his shot it sounded like three or four shots you know what I'm saying reflecting off the building so I think that's initially where they came up with the idea that uh, you know that there was that many shooters but you know they gotta take every precaution and and that fool stood off with them boys for a while they ended up sending a fucking remote control fucking car, bro, with a bomb strapped to that hoe. With a bomb strapped to that hoe and blew his ass up. Fucking crazy, man. But yeah, I'm just, I'm curious how everybody feels about this shit. I mean, they say that there's these power groups that are gonna stand up and, you know... I mean, I don't mind a motherfucker standing up for his cause, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, but you can't just be killing innocent people. I mean, we as a country kill fucking all types of innocent people when we drop bombs over there uh, across the world. And nobody blinks a fucking eye at it, you know, like, oh, the casualties, the casualties, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just part of the war, you know, and I understand that. It's, it's part of, um, you know, it's, it, it's part of it, it's, you know, called collateral damage. You know, but um, I guess to me, when it hit, when it's close to home, like anybody else, when it's close to home, it gets realer. But you know, if you were sitting over there when the bombs dropping on top, you'd be freaking the fuck out because it should be happening every fucking day. Well, there's a lot of crazy shit going on in the world, man. I'm Raj. That boy, was that a fucking BMW, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm boys over here. I guess it's considered Richardson. 
That boy. <laughs> that boy was in a BMW with a crime watch sticker on that hoe. Crazy. Man, I mean, to be honest, man, just. I don't think she's gonna change. I think really it's gonna all remain. It's all gonna remain the same. You know, I feel like, man, you know. You know, possibly, you know, there could be a lot more acting out by the communities. But eventually, I think it'll die down again. But I don't think anything will really change. I feel like nothing will really change until they either stop arrest policies or put fucking um, rubber bullets in the cops' guns instead of giving them real ammunition. Shit like that. I mean, that's just ideas that all types of people have already come up with. But... You know, we have to find a way, man. I mean, we had to find a fucking way, man, for this shit to work out for everybody. So, man, I just pray for all those men who are fucking hurting right now, man. Whatever region y'all, pray for them in that manner. Alrighty, man, it's gonna conclude the video, bro. Y'all fucking be good, man. Y'all have a good day. Be safe, ride safe, man. Keep your eyes open, man, all times. You know, look out for each other, man. And just be good, man. Like and subscribe if y'all want to, bro. I'm still just trying to throw a little stuff here and together. I mean, just trying to do what I can, man, while I'm off, bro. Y'all be blessed, man. Peace.